Number 5. This is undated, 90% silver Roosevelt dime with foldover strike. Graded in mint state 66 full torch by NGC. According to Stax Bowers, a complex error that is at once visually dramatic, very rare and very desirable. The planchet was folded over on itself, the telltale seam where the two halves meet being clearly visible before, and partially through, Roosevelt's face. The ends of the fold are also clearly seen from the edge, with the small teardrop void at each end. The planchet has split under the stress about midway across the fold. Slightly off-center, but far better in this respect than most examples seen. Roosevelt's full head is on the flan, as is the entirety of the reverse's central motif. Sharply struck. Unfortunately the metal flow has rendered the date invisible, but it is clearly on a 90% silver planchet, dating it prior to 1965. It was sold for $2,820. Number 4. This is 1973's Roosevelt dime triple struck with clash dies. Graded as PR68 Ultra Cameo by NGC. According to Heritage Auctions, heavy clash marks are evident on each side. The planchet gradually expanded out of collar for each of the three strikes, resulting in planchet splits at 11 and 4 o'clock, relative to the obverse, with a few other, smaller splits elsewhere around the edge. The fields remain deeply mirrored, and the frosty devices are sharp. It ended up selling for $3,840. Number 3. This is 2002's Roosevelt Dime with Reverse Die Cap. Graded as PR67 Ultra Cameo by NGC. A fascinating error. The reverse impression is razor sharp within the base of a shallow cap, the planchet freeing itself, or being removed, from the reverse die after only a few additional impressions, likely one or two. The other side of this cap also exhibits a razor sharp strike, from the obverse die. Both sides are brilliant with deeply reflective fields supporting frosty design elements. It was sold for $3,360. Number 2. Here is 1968 D. Roosevelt dime struck on a 90% silver planchet. Circulated error dime in AU55 condition. This piece circulated only briefly before it was saved and recognized for its special nature. Exactly how a 90% silver planchet was struck in 1968 is a mystery, but the weight is consistent with the old silver planchets rather than the new clad composition, and examination of the edge shows no reddish line to suggest a copper core. Unusually well detailed for the issue, a further clue. It was sold for $5,750. Number 1. And this is famous transitional error from Roosevelt Dime Series. 1965 10 cent piece struck on a silver planchet leftover from 1964. Graded in mint state 62 by PCGS. Bright silver with a trace of toning on the lower reverse and lustrous throughout. While seemingly innocuous this is all the usual appearance of a typical silver Roosevelt dime, but the date of 1965 is when the clad sandwich metal coinage began. There are a few of these known off-metal, old planchet strikings, but very few. Especially in mint state, as these would easily have slipped into circulation unnoticed as silver coins dominated the coins in circulation for a few years after the clad coins were launched in 1965. Similar in error to the famed 1943 copper cents, where a handful of leftover planchets were stuck in the hopper, and when coinage began in the new year, slipped into production unnoticed. One of the great mint errors of the 1960s and an important and rare coin for the specialist. It fetched a sum of $16,450 at auction. That's all folks. You likes and comments are highly appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel. We have daily updating numismatic content for you. God's will, see you in the next episode.